You see, it's a rare sight for many these days to actually be hands free. It's a rare sight. See, typically you're going to see people's hands full. They're going to be full with cell phones, right? Everybody's always got that cell phone in their hand. You know, one of the things I was impressed with, with my buddy's kids, they spent a week with, with my kids. They were a little bit older. They're 12 and, and 16. And I was really impressed that, yes, they had their phones and yes, they had their Snapchat and yes, they spent some time on them. But I kept, I often saw them putting their phone off to the side or putting their phone away while they were playing with my kids, whether it be the, the four-year-old they were playing with, the two-year-old, the six-year-old, the eight-year-old, the 10-year-old. Yeah, we've got them all. No matter which one they were playing with, they put their phones away. Like I noticed on um, Friday, I believe it was on Friday, the kids all wanted to go fishing. And so the phones and the devices got set down and they went down to our pond and they sat out there and they fished, man. My son, Joel, fished for probably six hours on Friday. And at one point, all the other kids had come back and Joel just sat out there by himself for like two and a half hours, just casting, casting, casting. And it's still a little cold. So he only caught, he, he, I think he caught three fish for the day and only like one fish in that two and a half hour span. But my goodness, did the, the, did the boy look peaceful? <laughs> I just kept looking out the window. I just kept thinking, when did we lose that? When did we lose that, that ability to sit still, that ability to just relax and be at peace, that, that patience, he patiently was waiting and waiting. And yes, he had a fishing pole in his hands. He did have a fishing pole in his hands, but the rest of life had just melted away for that boy. And man, was I envious. Was I envious in the middle of the honeydews, in the middle of the travel, in the middle of the podcast, in the middle of working with my 800% club dealers, in the middle of working with Carter Myers Automotive Group, in the middle of all of these things, right? In the middle of life, I just was looking out the window going, man, there's something special about that right there. It's very rare do we see us anymore. This is live, Karen. Hi, you're not even on replay, Karen Simpson. You're here with us live. How about that? <laughs> yes, it's crazy. You'll have to go back and you'll understand, right? But you don't really see that anymore. We see people's hands full, hands full with cell phones. We've got our hands full with the steering wheels as we're driving, we're traveling, we're hustling and bustling. We're running to work. We're running back from work. We're traveling across town. We're going to visit the in-laws. We're taking the kids to basketball. We're taking kids to dance recital. We're running out to grab dinner, right? We're constantly got a steering wheel in our hand as we're driving around doing all of the things, or you'll see people with their leashes and they've got their pets and they're, they're connected to that and we've got to take the, the dog out we got to bring the dog back in and we got to pick up the poop you see the people with the plastic bags they got their hands full right all these different responsibilities that we've put upon ourselves the different things that we have to take care of obviously we've got our children they can be a handful right or two or in my case eight <laughs> this week right and so our hands are full. We're taking care of our kids. We're serving them. We're doing all the things that they need us to do. Or maybe for some of us, our hands are full with remote controls and we're watching television and, and, and binge watching our different shows on Netflix and just using that ultimately as an escape to kind of get away from all of the other chaotic things that are going on in our world. It's just so rare these days to find ourselves hands free. It's so rare. Maybe it's the Starbucks cup that we have to keep in our hands so we can stay caffeinated so that we can have the energy that we need to grind through our 14 hour day or our 16 hour day. Or for some of us, it's an 18 or a 20 hour day. Or maybe our hands are full with another beverage that helps us to relax, helps us to take our minds off of all the different stresses that are going on in our life today. Hands full. We as Americans, as humans have created this reality of busy. We're just busy. We've grown to stay busy, but yet staying busy doesn't serve us 
if it's not purposeful and promotional. And here's what I mean by that. And here's what I really want you to take away from today's episode of hashtag rise and grind your actions, the things that you're exerting all that extra energy towards, they should be purposeful and promotional by the word purposeful. That means from within each of us are unique in what is purposeful to us by promotional. I mean, advancing, whether it be advancing mentally, physically, or spiritually. You see, shifting a hands full life over to a hands free life is really a matter of defining which is both purposeful and promotional for you and ultimately stepping further into that. You see, my wife is a shining example of this. She's a homeschooling mama of six who has either been pregnant or breastfeeding literally for the last 10 years, for the last decade. From the outside, her life can look like a handful. She's always got a baby in her arm. She's always got a kid on her ankles. She's literally never, I mean, never without a child needing something, needing a drink, needing a, needing something to eat. I mean, even in this picture, if you noticed, that's not my wife's hand. (laughs) As I went to snap the picture, she's actually feeding. She's nursing the baby right here and the baby just happened to reach up and put her hand on her chin (laughs) right as I snapped the photo which I think is just absolutely classic but this is what she's been doing for the last decade and so though it looks like a handful she's actually much closer to living hands-free than I am she's much closer to living hands-free than a lot of people that I know in my life and in my circle Because see, the things that she's doing, the actions that she's taking every single day, they're purposeful. They come from within. She understands that she's been uniquely created to be a mama. That's what she's best at. That's where she finds her joy. That's what she continues to step into. She's cleared nearly everything else out of her life. You see, when my wife, when I first met her, she was into the party scene and she had just graduated out of college and she was working multiple jobs. She was working as a server at Logan. She was working at a bartender at cocktails, right? She was doing all of these things. She was staying busy, but she hadn't quite found her purpose. She hadn't really stepped into that. And because of that, she dealt with things like anxiety. She dealt with things like depression. She dealt with a lot of things in her life. She wanted to go to the beers she wanted to go have a drink she wanted to get away from the day-to-day because it wasn't purposeful but now my wife i gotta tell you man she hasn't had a drink and i mean she's maybe had three drinks over the last 10 years because she's stepped into her purpose which is to be a mama and to serve her babies So though it looks like she's got her hands full, she's really living a life that's very hands free. She's also some stepped into something that's very promotional for her. The, the actions that she takes as she pours into our children, as she teaches them biblically, as she studies the Bible, as she advances herself with math and English and social studies and geography, all of these things, her actions that she takes every single day are advancing her mentally, physically, and spiritually. That's how she can do it. That's how she can get up at 6 a.m. and immediately be on her hands and knees, literally a lot of the times cleaning up milk and orange juice, but that's how she can do that from 6 a.m. until 11 p.m. every night. That's how she's been able to do that every day. And I mean, every day, literally my wife's had, I think five days. I took her to Cancun for five days. And this was when we had, I think only two kids or maybe three. I took her to Cancun for five days. And on day three of being in Cancun, she wanted to be back home. Other than that, my wife doesn't leave. 
She doesn't leave the kids. She's not separated from the kids. It's just not her jam, man. She has found her purpose and what is promotional to her spiritually, mentally, and, and physically. And she steps into it every single day. So I don't tell you all of these things just to brag or promote my wife. Everybody's a little bit different. I can't do what she does. I couldn't do what she does. That's not how I'm built. That's not where I find my purpose and my promotion. We're all different. But when you do find that for you and you literally step into it, when you find that for you and you literally step into it, it goes back to what Lisa said. If you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. And that's how I run my life. When you step into your purpose and the things that promote you, you ain't got to get ready no more. You can just literally step into it. As we simplify our lives, as we take a look at all the things that are valuable to us, as we start to have a better understanding of how short life can be and how nothing is definite, nothing is guaranteed. As we step into that season, I challenge you to take a look. Are your hands full or are your hands free? Are you prepared and are you ready? Are you using this time right now to prepare, to step further into your purpose, that thing that tugs at you, that thing that's been tugging at you your whole life? Are you using this time to step into that? Are you making sure that your actions are promotional, that they're going to help you physically, mentally, spiritually? Because if not, you're gonna. this is you. This is you and this is what life is going to look like for you and this isn't what I want. It's not what I want for you and it's not what you want for you. I want it to look a little bit more like this. I want it to look like this where we're just diving in and we're getting wet and we're getting messy, but we're having fun and our life is filled with joy. Because listen, my friend, you, you are a child of God, the God of the universe, the God that made everything made you to be the best version of yourself that you can be not average a little bit above average or a little bit below but the absolute best and in order for you to be the best version of you that you can possibly be you've got to live this purpose driven purposeful promotional life where your hands free you're prepared and you're ready and you can step into it step into that that you were created that unique thing because when you do it makes a massive impact on your friends, on your family members, on your coworkers. Heck, you just showing up here today has made a massive impact on me. I, for one, absolutely love you for it. I do. Candy, Candy Sakai, I love you, girl. John Paul Guidry, love you, brother. I really do. Jeff Baker, absolutely love you. Jennifer Jaskell, Laura Berman, all of y'all that stuck with me this morning, even though we had the technical issues. That are, Those of you that are watching on replay later, absolutely stinking love you. Candace Brewington, love you. Whitney Wells, love you. For real. So continue. Let's move towards our purpose. Let's move towards this hands-free life and go out and make an impact in the world. It matters. Listen, if you need more videos like this, you can go to Glenn Lundy. Dot com. That's right. You can go to glennlundy.com. If you need some rise and grind gear, you can go to glennlundy.com as well. Love you, Mr. Hatfield. You the man. And this week, invite some friends in here. We're going to talk about this. We're going to really dive in and talk about how to go from living this hands full life to a hands free life. Really simplifying and stepping into our purpose, into a life that's promotional. That's, that, that's rid of the anxieties and the angst and the fears and the frustrations, right? One where we can just go out there fishing for two and a half hours and enjoy every stinking minute of it. Listen, go out there, have an incredible day today. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, 5.30 a.m. on hashtag Rise and Grind.